I discovered a, a wonderful little utility to help monitor cryptocurrency prices. So let me show you about this thing. And there's one little trick on how to use it that I thought I would communicate to you all. So a short video here. Crypto bubbles dot net. First off is crypto bubbles. Bubbles has an S on the end and it's a dot net instead of a dot com. This thing has cookies. So it's already uh, memorized my things. There's no account. You don't have to log on or anything there. Create an account. So it must be using cookies to track. Now you notice there's an advertisement across the top here. I always encourage people to uh, support the advertisers that support the websites we use. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and close this. So that gets rid of that ad and uh, that ad will be gone for the whole day. What I did is I created a favorites view of the cryptos that I'm currently interested in. So you can see here, I created a view with a one day interval. So compared to this time a day ago, here's the price change. And this one is compared to an hour ago, here's the price changes. The size of the bubbles and the brightness of the green is proportionate to the amount of the price change. So you can see this comp here is up 0.3%, whereas uh, graphic uh, GRT is up 2.1. So the larger the change, the bigger the circle. And the same thing on this, if you have a price decline, uh, like fourth here is down, so it's a pretty large circle, 3% down. Also, uh, notice this blue bar going across the top here. When this gets to the end, it's going to refresh. So watch what happens when it refreshes. It's going to uh, grab the newest prices and uh, then it will make changes. Now, there may not be much change here in the last, you know, five minutes. Okay, now you saw here that scale increase if you click on plus here you can create your own view you can go monthly yearly whatever hourly you can uh, sort by market cap the problem with this is bitcoin always dominates right because it's always the big one so that's not very useful to me uh, volume in the last 24 hours this one's kind of interesting so where's the activity going on you can also click on the top 100 this is by uh, what market cap or or uh, coins in circulation so so this would be change in price for the hundred largest coins. And this would be the second, or excuse me, the third hundred or whatever. So you kind of go down a list here and by the time you get down here, you've got some pretty obscure coins. But, <laughs> and you can see they're more volatile than normal. Look at it, X base more than doubled just today. So how do you take one of the coins and make it your favorite? This actually, I had to figure out how to do this. So let's see, I had a top 100 here, and uh, I don't care, hot, whatever that is. I have no idea what this is. But let's say you wanted to make that one of your favorites. So you click on it, it brings down a menu, and you got the star right there. Boom. So I have now added that to my favorites. So now if I go to my favorites list, you can see that hot is in there, added to it. And I can click on this and take it back out. Uh, there is no charge for this. You do have the advertiser and the Android app. When you download it, there's an opportunity there to voluntarily contribute to the developer. The other thing I wanted to mention was this thing is a, is a hog as far as the computer. This web page with these bubbles moving around consumes about one half of this graphic processor. So, and about 20% of this CPU. Very handy tool. I love this thing. And that's all I have to say about that. The God of the universe loves you and wants to be your friend, embrace it. Mm -hmm.